In this lecture, we talk about how, given all of the complexities we've described in earlier lectures, companies can use their international footprint to build competitive advantage for themselves. They, there's m multiple approaches, of course. You can use your location to um, build a lower cost structure and figure out how to position yourself vis-a-vis -vis these various markets and the different factors that are locally available. You have the opportunity also to take advantage of resources that you're, you have a lot of or capabilities that you're good at and leverage those across multiple markets. And you can also gain some cross-border coordination benefits. And we'll talk about um, each of these in a little bit more detail. You can use location, essentially, to build advantage by, first of all, customizing your products and offerings within the local environment so that not only do you have advantage of what's happening in terms of the global platform on which you work, but you can also take advantage of local presence to become much more, uh, much more attractive to local purchases and local preferences. Um, you can also step back and offer a lot of standardized features. A typical strategy is to have parts and modules that are standardized and they're assembled and presented to the marketplace in a much more um, uh, unique or, or specific to the market kind of configuration. It's one way to be thinking about it. Essentially, you can pursue your competitive advantage in world markets by figuring out in which area different value chain activities should play out where you might manufacture in low cost, where you might want to position some of your early manufacturing stages near your natural resources, where you might want to position some of your marketing and design capabilities in high production, productivity, innovative areas with a, a, a well-educated population. Those sorts of pieces can come together into a strategy which really helps you build products and services that people are interested in and are looking forward to purchasing and buying. This is the resource idea, resource-based competitive advantage. You have resources and capabilities internal to the company, whether it's manufacturing effectively and low, at a low cost, design and marketing, whether it's innovation and invention, um, whether it's packaging, distribution, different elements are available in different ways. And you can use those capabilities on a chessboard, if you will, to maximize the overall benefit to all parties, customers, and your investors in a way that really extends your differentiation in the marketplace while at the same time maintaining a very strong low-cost position. These are coordination benefits. That is, you're able to take you're able to take some raw materials from one marketplace as long as the exchange rates are favorable. If the exchange rates shift, you might move and do your purchasing from a different market where the exchange rates are more favorable. So you have multiple locations where you can manufacture, multiple locations where you can get your raw materials, and as macroeconomic events change, you're able to shift and coordinate your activities much better. Someone is only in one market, gets all of their um, natural resource of some kind from one market. If there's a political problem there, they have trouble. Whereas if they can shift their supply chain, they have uh, distinct advantages there. Those are some of the coordination benefits that one has and one can use to develop going forward. In the next lecture, we'll talk about how these same kinds of global benefits can be used by the finance organization to take advantage of difference in cost, difference in price, difference in competitive position, difference in how well one's protected in the marketplace, to use one's financial stability and strength to be able to enter markets and compete effectively in local markets. That's what we'll talk about in the next lecture.